Would you know what to do if someone around you were having a medical emergency? Maybe they become unresponsive, have a heart attack, or go into cardiac arrest. The American Heart Association says fast action in these situations is critical to save a life. And as News for Jackson's Jennifer Reddy says, every second counts. A medical emergency can happen anywhere. It can happen in a parking lot outside, or it can even happen at work. That's why experts we spoke with say it's so important if you find yourself in this situation to stay calm and call 911. Lisa Harshman will always remember May 2006. I literally just jumped up and ran to the hospital. That's when her new husband, Tim, went into work at what used to be St. Luke's Hospital and collapsed in the OR. I got to the hospital and one of the staff members there, um, she stopped me in the hallway so that I couldn't come up because they were working on him and literally he was rolling by from the OR to the ER, not alive. They were doing compressions and she did not want me to see that. At the time, Lisa was a surgical tech at the same hospital. Apparently he was just standing there in the case and just collapsed and at first he was still awake and they thought maybe he was having a seizure. They didn't really know what was happening and then within minutes he lost his pulse and was in complete cardiac arrest. At just 39 years old, Tim had a massive heart attack known as a widowmaker heart attack. That usually kills people. He says he had to be shocked 13 times. How quickly did they act the minute you had the heart attack? Immediate. They Thank God, and I say that honestly, thank God. <laughs> they were there in the OR. They had the ability, the equipment, and the knowledge to do what they did. What role do you think that played in the fact that you're still standing here today? Everything. If not for them, I wouldn't be telling you the story. His colleague's swift action is exactly what the American Heart Association suggests during a medical emergency like a heart attack or cardiac arrest. It is so important to first stay calm. So you have to stay calm so that you are able to figure out, assess the situation. If it is heart attack symptoms that they're experiencing, so chest discomfort, shortness of breath, um, lightheaded or dizziness, upper body pain, it is so important to call 911. Amber Wilson with the American Heart Association says knowing how to perform CPR is crucial. For perspective, the organization says for every minute without CPR, survival from a witnessed cardiac arrest goes down 7 to 10 percent. How much of a difference can just taking those simple steps like saying calm make in the outcome? Fast action is so important. It is the most important thing when it comes to cardiac arrest, heart attack. Um, you are doubling, if not tripling, your survival rates when acting fast. After Tim's heart attack, he had short-term memory loss and went to Brooks Rehabilitation for treatment. How are you feeling today? Awesome. I feel 100% better. I feel actually better than <laughs> before I had my heart attack. So that says a lot. So don't smoke. I mean, it does nothing good for anybody and uh, get certified in CPR for the good of everyone else. Harshman says his heart attack changed his life and he hopes sharing his experience makes a difference for others. One of the other tools experts say you can get trained in is an AED. It looks a lot like this. Many of us have them in our workplace, and it's a good idea to know where it is. Jennifer Reddy, Channel 4, The Local Station.